Red Bull Racing is the team to beat. Their star driver, Sebastian Vettel, is well in the lead. One reason for their success, they say, lower testing and technical costs. From the end of 2008, from the, the crisis that ensued and manufacturers pulling out, such as Honda and Toyota, Formula One's worked hard to control its costs. So an independent team, such as Red Bull Racing, can be competitive with the likes of Ferrari, with the likes of McLaren, and that in turn has enticed sponsors to come back in at a much more affordable rate. This year, total F1 sponsorship is set to return to pre-recession levels. But today, the money's divided between more sponsors who are spending less. The average value of an on-car deal fell 28% last year to $5 million. Red Bull Racing is just five years old, but already they've won the F1 World Championship. And while sponsorship dollars are broadly coming back to the sport, there's nothing like winning to draw new investment. Red Bull says their sponsorship funds have increased 75% in the past two years. Espana has had less luck. Their car reads, this could be you. It's a bid to find a backer amid a losing streak. 06, 07, teams that were doing badly on track, they were getting sponsors as well as the teams who were doing well on track. So clearly sponsors are choosing where to place their money more wisely than before. The sponsorship money is coming back largely because of increased interest in the sport. Last year was a record year, both in terms of the closeness of the racing and also the number of races on the calendar. Red Bull has already picked up a handful of new sponsors this season. At this rate, they'll soon run out of space to fit all those names on their cars. Olivia Stearns, Bloomberg.